Hello there and welcome back to yet another episode. It seems it's becoming a bit of a thing now. Every time we're starting an episode, a another bad tide is arriving, but we're not complaining. I think the bad tides do make the game a lot more interesting. So let's see what the next one will bring us. I think the last one we had was for like three or four days and we were already able to maintain our colony. So I think, yeah, let's, uh, let, let's see what happens. Anyways, what we... What we do have now is this lovely looking reservoir over here with a little outlet for the for the water. I've done some automation very quickly as well. So essentially, if I can find the right one. Oh, never mind. I think we are set on the advanced over here and based on the contamination. If the contamination is, uh, where was it? I think over here. If it uh, picks up a little bit, then we're going to open those gates. And if the contamination drops, then we'll close them again and we'll have these ones open. I mean, these ones, I don't think I've set them up for automation just yet. So we'll we'll do it manually for a little bit. Now with the top reservoir, there is just a little bit more to do as well. I mean, we could leave it the way it is, but I'd like to add this levee wall um, in here because the plan is, as you can see, some of that water is escaping the tank so the plan is to put a uh, single floodgates in here and essentially when the bad tide starts we're going to open them up let the bad water go off the map on uh, both sides and the opposite will will happen when we have the the rainy season we'll keep the gates closed and make sure that all this juicy clean looking water is going and flowing into our colony all right so the majority of the trees have already grown up and fully matured over here as well so it's starting to look like a nice little forestry area that we that we have over here uh, <laughs> and the same over here as well we do have some more pine trees so yeah things are looking pretty good i think we are struggling with the well not really struggling but we're a little short of some beavers it appears so I placed a couple more of those advanced breeding pods they seem to be working pretty pretty nicely and we do have an extra tank for the extract as well in case we need to store up a bit more i mean i think in the future we'll probably have a one or two more of those buildings and um yeah i'm not sure if we're quite ready to swap over all of the breeding pods because let's say if the next bad tide is pretty long then and if we don't manage our population well by closing certain jobs that might be in uh, very high risk areas like this island here then uh, we might actually need this extract to heal our beavers i mean hopefully it doesn't have to or hopefully it doesn't go that far but you'll never know so um focus for this episode yep uh, first of all i guess our side mission is to continue building this one up here i would like to pause all those jobs or not continue when the bad tide starts oh quickly before we go to our next main jump what i have realized is um <laughs> let me demonstrate something so if you place these floodgates here then they kind of act that they're connected okay so pretty cool the moment you um take it away so if i do this again so now we can control all of them but they're not built now, the moment I delete it, I only connect these half. So it seems to think that, hey, since we have um, placed this floodgate down here, Baby Dragon probably isn't going to delete this or uh, he's going to make sure that this gets built. So therefore, let's make sure that all the settings carry over or transfer from one building to another. But if you are short on resources, then you don't actually have to build those links. So for now, just for demonstration purposes, I have left them the way they are and um, yeah so there we go now we can connect er um, control everything and it's pretty pretty interesting I don't think I've noticed this before and I, I don't suppose it's gonna be a game-breaking thing for me yeah just uh, thought I'd mention this I'm sure you guys already knew about this but it's just something I noticed whilst I was playing around. Okay, now this section here has been quite interesting. Um, I'll probably have to do some more off-camera tinkering, but it seems at times, unless we manually adjust things, we do struggle sometimes with uh, allowing water into this area. Oh, this reminds me. 
I get distracted very quickly, so... Yeah, let's uh, allow some water. I'll just open this gate now, so we don't have to destroy any, any levees. Actually, it might be a good idea to keep the, the middle levee section in place, because... If anything was to happen and we can't fill this whole area, then at least, you know, maybe we keep half of it full. Okay, anyways, yeah, so we've um, struggled with allowing or letting some more water in here. So I have deleted all the, the levees and the dams. Okay, I'm going to drop them a little bit more. And yeah, somehow it just goes through this area in here, but we'll see. I think we're okay right now. All right, so now that we... Oh yeah, we do have some automation here as well. Essentially a bit of a system here with the stream gauge. Where if the water is too low, I think it was, then the plant gate actually goes up and lets uh, or allows us to build up this water again. That's uh, yeah, a bit of a fail safe uh, in, in case we run this area dry again and then we lose all of our crops. Oh yeah, I just remembered I have also deleted uh, all the showers because for some reason they just... I don't know if it was the showers. I thought showers don't consume water, but this area was always running dry and it wasn't that we were letting this water go to this canal over here or that it was flowing backwards into the, the river system. No, not, not always. So something was definitely consuming water in this area. So yeah, now we have showers in a slightly different place. Okay, so our main focus, let's have a look. We've got 100 treated planks. We do, or we did have the beavers run into this area. And we've got all the gears, all the logs. So we just need the treated planks right now. I'm not sure if the beavers are going to be able to have it all completed but since we are gonna have the bad time pretty soon oh yeah we're gonna lose all these mangroves as well i'm starting to think that it's kind of pointless to have the mangroves here unless we do some kind of coastal protection over here yeah it, it, it's not really good location for the mangroves we're gonna have to figure figure out something else an alternative solution perhaps because yeah otherwise it's just a waste of time and uh, what i've also had to do is Sort of create this forest over here and um, not let those trees go wild. Uh, this was the, or this seems to be the only way how we can let the beavers automatically replant all of them trees. Yeah, we definitely don't want to be doing this manually. So yeah, unfortunately, it is gonna look a little bit different. Okay, so the crop is here. I I think we're gonna increase the beaver population. Just to ensure that everything gets harvested before the... Um, <laughs> okay, so you're fully staffed already and you were probably as well. Yeah, we just want to wanna get everything off the fields. Oh yeah, okay, it's starting now. Uh, interesting. Well, let's see what happens. We'll keep our eye on this. Now, with the lake in... The previous bad tide, we seem to be able to manage this without flooding this whole area. So yeah, let's keep a close eye on the situation and we'll see what we have to do about this. All right, so there we go. Bad tide has started. It is for five days, which I think might be the longest. Oh dear, you were supposed to be closed. Um, <laughs> I think that might have been our mistake. Maybe I didn't quite set it up for automation as we were supposed to okay hide this that seems to be going off the map nothing's really flown into this area oh yeah we had to close this one as well so another interesting thing over here it seems to be that the water will happily sit in the middle as long as we provide an outflow for the bad water like it is right now we might be able to keep uh, some of those things growing in here so that's definitely a very interesting observation oh dear okay so you've not closed up for some reason yeah that's definitely our bad you're closed or are you not uh okay yeah automation has failed us over here as well that's not good that's all pretty low this one doesn't have a lot of water that's because these gates are open oh yeah i'm gonna have to do some thinking and most likely off camera try and improve that system let's have a look through this as well it seems our our mine is finally complete and we can choose let's do normal scrap metal for now 
We could do the efficient one as well, but that's going to consume some explosives. We have a few in here, and I mean, I suppose we could, because it does... Well, it takes 3.6 hours to produce 6 scrap metal. Okay, we'll um, leave you at that. Right now, it is not very efficient at all, because... The beavers have to run a very long distance to come and work over there. Oh yeah, you're complaining as well. This section is all dry. Now, what is going on? So you're going through here. Yeah, starting to retreat a little bit. Uh, this is looking very bad. And let's have a quick look over here as well. Yep, all that bad water is going that way. Okay, well, at least it's not flooding. I hope I haven't jinxed it now. Now we seem to be a-okay, so... Cool. Um, right, our next steps will be to turn this into a separate colony. We've been talking about this for quite some time. And I guess if I'm completely honest, I've kind of been afraid that this colony won't have a very bright future. So that's why we kind of kept it all connected. Um, the thing we want to do is, let's see, we are using explosive gears and 3D planks, so... Our first step will be to figure out some storage over here as well. Two more storages, just like so, over here as well. And we'll quickly do it for uh, gears and, all right, explosives. Okay, so the bad tide has ended. I've quickly put down a few things in here as well. These aren't the exact amounts or numbers of buildings we are going to need, but uh, this is sort of like a starting foundation slash blueprint okay so let's have a look what's happening over here uh right so you're gonna flow through hopefully nothing oh yeah we don't have automation here so we're gonna drop all this water please go this way the rest of you i think you are automatically set to 2.0 you are 2.5 and uh yeah it shouldn't take us too long before it spills into this area as well we can refill all of our water tanks some of it has started flowing Oh dear, into this area as well, but I'm pretty certain we can clean this up fairly, fairly quickly. Let's just drop you at 1.5. Might flood the colony a little bit, but um, we, we should be fine. This area over here seems to be doing pretty good as well. All this bad water is flowing out from the lake pretty quickly. I suppose we'll have to give you a couple of days what could probably help is if we had another outlet somewhere about here as well yeah perhaps that might have to be more of a like a like a manual outlet let's have a look at the progress over here we have brought in some metal blocks already then some gears and then some logs yeah the key thing is just to have some more beavers because right now we do have a lax power oh i see what's happening over here hold on a second 2.5 let's close this up before we blot the whole colony okay any second we should be fine right um yeah so as i was saying beavers are the ones that we desperately seem to need i mean we have a ton of builder huts over here as well that makes it look a little worse than it actually is but um we also have some hauling posts that i would like to open so I think if we go up to like 150 beers, that's probably the goal. I do want to start producing some metal as well because, uh, yeah, we're probably going to have to open you. Why is this one? Let's give it a priority for the engines. We definitely need you guys running uh, when we have things operational over here. Everything else, I mean, blanks, gears. We seem to be doing pretty good. So that's uh, fantastic. Someone is contaminated. Okay, that means I don't think we have any of them unlocked just yet, do we? No, I'm pretty sure I paused them all. Uh, injured 8, unwell is 1, so let's do another one. How are they getting injured? Must be like... Oh, they're unemployed. Hold on a second. How are they unemployed? It doesn't say that any of them are unemployed here. Unless they are children, of course. 46, 43. Oh, hold on a second. So if they get injured, do they stop? Oh yeah, they might be removed from the total count. Okay, so the next problem we have is it seems these areas are getting a little bit contaminated as well. And I think right now there isn't really a good way to avoid this without creating ourselves a 
a lot of extra work so what we can do so let's just build a deep bad water pump right like so we'll connect you with the roads as well it appears that we don't really need all of this in here okay so might want to do a storage here as well quick little dumping section for for the bad water okay there we go and you guys just try and construct this yeah i guess a bit of extra or more work is needed to really control the bad water running through this area especially towards the end of the tide and um, yeah when it started flowing backwards and then it was flowing in this way as well i mean something we could do that could be a simple solution i don't know why i haven't thought about this before we could build a, a bit of a levee wall and redirect let's have a look okay here we go redirect some of that water right now it is three tiles wide so we can um, keep it just like that okay just the le levees and i think we have enough logs oh yes we do i mean our forests are pretty big as well so we should be okay now we do want those forests to come back to life okay i think some more water or clean water is finally flowing through this area so our beaver numbers seem to be going up slowly as well we do have two contaminated beavers which is not bad at all and about 16 little baby beavers okay now metal is not too bad and okay so you're completed as well in this area we do want to start producing a couple of things so we can probably unpause a few of your buildings now since it is gonna be <laughs> well yeah expansion in this area is gonna be difficult because we don't have the beaver power just yet but essentially what the plan will be is let's just turn this area and oh yeah we've got tons of space in here actually why don't we place you in a slightly more strategic location which might be over here and then we'll start harvesting or cleaning up this side of the map in here okay yeah quite a quite a few things to remove and i think at a later stage if we really want to beautify this area then we definitely can but right now it's more about uh, trying to get a few logs out of this area okay quick uh, road that isn't very direct shall go about here as well actually no this road needs to go here because that's where we are keeping the logs and um all right 16 jumps a few beavers have come online housing wise we might even want to start opening a few buildings over here all right there we go i don't think uh, right now is a good time to build a new district here however we do have the food we do have the potential for water production over here so that's the key things done the only area where we will struggle is their entertainment but that i'm sure we can sort out pretty quickly as well these distances are pretty pretty nasty so we're gonna have to make some changes but i think we'll do it in the next episode because that's gonna be a a slightly bigger development for us essentially what we do want to do is uh, stick a district crossing over here We'll have a new district center i don't know maybe somewhere here that's a little bit more centralized although we did want this to be like our town center over here and um then yeah we can start producing some water in here as well not water some food and yeah we've got the housing that's opened up and then or maybe even district center up on this hill over here yeah this could be an option uh, maybe a better option as well i'm not sure what it's going to do with our distances because some of those farms are actually all the way here so yeah we might need this district center around here after all anyways we'll figure this out in the next episode right now let's have a look how much metal we have 23 you take 30 metal and you don't take any metal at all so how about we do Three the planks over here okay and once we get a bit more metal we are gonna start producing some explosive materials in here so what's the problem with you prioritize can someone please stick a few logs in here so we can start producing some other resources locally and probably you for obtain as well 
I mean, for the time being, until... No, let's keep you open. Uh, hopefully someone's going to bring us some logs. Uh, otherwise, we'll be, we'll be pretty sad. But, okay. At least we do already have a few beavers working in this area. Now, as you know, we really love those oaks. So, let us start planting them all over this area. Okay, so that's going to be the foundation for our forestry and okay engine is working this means you guys should be fine as well and then we'll have the wood workshop up and running in no time at all okay so quite a quite a few new things that we that we do have in here we've got a bit of a hit list for the next episode as well i mean at least we have broken ourselves into this area over here and we we are definitely starting to establish our foothold um, okay, so yeah, we're going to carry on with building the forestry, definitely building up this area here as well, starting to produce some, some more metal. And once we have the sort of foundation in place, including the district center and uh, sort of reassigning a few things in here, our next step will be will be bots. We will we'll definitely need them working in the efficient mine. Because if I remember correctly, the beavers are a little bit fragile and they get injured pretty quickly in the mines. But okay, otherwise I think our colony seems to be doing pretty well. We're going to have to do some automation off camera as well and finish off this tank over here. Otherwise, I think we're pretty good with this episode. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you soon.